So the masses must be expecting it. Why? So that when the United States attacks Iraq, you would have the kind of spontaneous outputs and their struggle against the oppression of the Shah that there were also others at work to help them without their even knowing it. So they have finessed this methodology of how to bring the masses out onto the streets. And this is what is about to occur. As the masses go out onto the streets, the ones who are going to be targeted are the pro-American regimes in the Arab world. The objective? To get one or more of these regimes to fall through massive demonstrations, anti-American and anti-Israeli demonstrations. Which one is likely to fall first? Let me stop. If the Jordanian government falls, in consequence of the attack on Iraq. And the Jordanian government, or shall I call it the Anglo-Jordanian government, is now replaced by an anti-American, anti-Israeli, and best of all, a government declaring itself to be Islamic. If that happens, and the Jews are going to be praying for that to happen, then you will see television really coming of age for the second time. The first time was September 11th. Television will now get to work around the world. CNN leading the, the pack. And the media around the world will now be used to portray an impending scenario in which like the domino effect governments around the world of Islam they will claim are now going to fall and the world of Islam is rising up now and one-eyed Muslims of course are going to believe it the world of Islam is now going to rise up and all these governments are going to be swept away and authentic governments representing the Muslim masses will now emerge and therefore the Jews are going to have their throats cut. This is going to be the most dangerous moment in the entire life of the world of Jews. The media will portray it. If we don't do something, we will all be slaughtered by these Muslim fanatics. Yeah. I tell you, this will be drama worthy of Hollywood when it comes. <laughs> huh? They must be hating me now for revealing their secrets. It is in this scenario that Israel will say we have to do something. If we just sit here and do nothing, the state of Israel will be destroyed and the Jews will all be slaughtered. What can we do? They call it a preemptive strike. A preemptive strike. But it won't be a preemptive strike. It will be the most dazzling display of the magnificent application of state of the art military technology that will leave even Uncle Sam in the backyard. A war like Uncle Sam has never seen and could never wage. That is what Israel is going to wage. Do they have the technology? I believe they have technology that even Uncle Sam doesn't have. It will be a lightning strike. Israel has to put on this magnificent display of military power and state-of-the-art technology beyond anything else that the world has ever known in order for Israel to impress upon mankind the validity of its credentials that is now going to become the new ruling state in the world. Hmm? 
before <laughs> Fahad could even blink, the Israelis have taken over the Saudi oil fields hmm? and the Iraqi and the Kuwaiti oil fields. The United States, of course, will make some noise and Britain will make some noise, but will they send troops? Not, of course not. The United, Se United uh, Nations Security Council is now going to be used by the rest of the world, particularly Uncle Europe. Yeah, and Uncle Japan. And the rest of the world. They will take the United Nations and seek to use the United Nations now to do something about this. Collective action to force Israel to withdraw. Because if Israel does not withdraw, Europe is going to be choked. Japan is going to be choked. And as the United Nations is now being used for the first time in its history, an attempt is being made to use the United Nations effectively by the rest of the world, I anticipate that the United States Congress, the Senate, and the House of Representatives will now pass resolutions forcing the U.S. government to withdraw from the United Nations. And as soon as the United States withdraws from the United Nations, the United Nations can no longer sit down in New York, pack up, and move. So in the same way that the, United, the League of Nations collapsed, the United Nations now collapses. United Nations cannot be relocated anywhere else. No. Because the United States is the ruling state in the world. The League of Nations collapsed because the United States was not in the League of Nations. That's why the League of Nations collapsed. And so the United Nations cannot be relocated anywhere. No, it can't take it to Geneva. It's not going to work. And so Israel gets to hold on to the fruits of a naked aggression.